Hey, we're still out here in Japan. Snowboarding. Snowboarding. And speaking of snowboarding, I just had the best snowboarding day of my life. And I feel like I've made a lot of improvements myself. Mm-hmm. Well, Shreya, we're going to talk about me today. <laughs> so we just always talk about you. Calm down over there. <laughs> okay. I started snowboarding in 1993. That's, by my calculations, about 27 years ago. Yeah. And I didn't go snowboarding every year, but I went a lot when I first started, and then periodically mm-hmm. over the last couple decades. Shreya started snowboarding a few years ago. Yes. So I started picking it up again. Yeah. Well, I was trying on my own to snowboard for a while, and then about three years ago, I got serious about it and started taking lessons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the important fact yeah. that we're going to get to is that I've been doing this forever, and I thought I was really good, and I thought I was doing a great job, and I probably was, <laughs> but since I was a terrible teacher, we got Shreya lessons. And I don't like him telling me what to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I don't like telling her what to do. <laughs> so, she gets lessons, and I start learning from her guide mm-hmm. and realizing that I might be doing some things wrong. And I start noticing things that other people are doing that I haven't been doing. So I come to realize after 20 years of snowboard experience that I'm not doing it very well. I'm not, I'm well, missing a lot of the fundamentals, but yes. the thing is, is that snowboarding got really boring to me. And, and it was holding you back from doing like tricks and stuff that you wanted to do. I mean, I was doing some pretty cool tricks back when I was, had a younger rubber body. Yeah. <laughs> but I was losing interest in it. And, um, but I started paying attention to what Australia had been learning. And I started, you know, with the advice of her instructors, started figuring out how to improve some of those fundamentals. And Which I've have been, been treating you well in your older non rubber body. Yeah. And I just had a lot of fun. And I've been doing a lot better. And I can't believe it took this long to improve on things. But here I am having a great time snowboarding in Japan. And, and the, it's a miracle what pirate, how accelerating so that's your learning. Yeah, that's what I want to get to. That's the, the moral of the story. Because Shreya we see a lot of people who yeah. try to be their own attorney. Yes. They do, I mean, whether it's estate planning, asset protection planning, Shreya business on the, planning business for Business sure. planning on the trademarks. And, you know, I figured out that I was doing some stuff wrong. Snowboarding, and it's not really a big deal. I mean, maybe I would have gone pro if mm-hmm. I knew a long time ago. But, you know, I was able to make some adjustments now, and I'm having a great time. However, what if you're doing, you're teaching yourself how to do these things, and then something goes wrong, which can't be corrected? And because you didn't start off with the nice, good fundamentals, now you're going to be paying for it. And maybe it's too late to fix things. Maybe you're a lot harder to fix things. Maybe you're in such deep doo doo that things just can't be. The doo doo can't be removed. How about that? Yeah, it's hard to unlearn things that you've taught yourself, as we can both attest to in our snowboarding. Ah, you must unlearn. What you have learned. Yeah, is that Master what you're Yoda. At, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, but uh, you get a lot of that too with the. Uh, I don't get it as much with the estate planning or no. some of the asset protection planning, but um, Shreya gets it a lot with the business planning All the and time. then the trademarks. 100% like. of the time. And. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it, it's usually harder to fix things. Yeah. Right? It costs people more to fix things yeah. than to do it right the first time. And then some things can't be fixed. Right. What do you think about that? Well, I think that if they have questions about it, they should go to livemorecarefree.com. 
Oh, Shrey is getting good at this uh, call to action. I am. Yeah. Yeah, go to livemorecarefree.com if you want to schedule a time to talk with us to, you know, chat about your fundamentals. And excuse both of our helmet heads hairs. I think my hair looks great. It I does, my fingers but like, through. I don't think mine does. I feel like mine probably does not. Yeah. If you don't, if you're not ready to, to book that chat, uh, leave a comment. Questions? Leave yeah. them down below. That would be fantastic. We've just ordered some food here. We were so hungry, we couldn't even wait to take off our snowboard gear. <laughs> we just sat down here in the lounge. Yeah. And we're going to eat some food. See you later. <laughs>